what MCU character would you like to see Shang Chi take on in a one on one fight? <laughs> I think I think it'd be fun to see Shang Chi do a, do a little spar and see. Hey, Dustin, uh, Emmanuel Noisette here from the movie blog and E-Man's Movie Reviews out here in Chicago. Um, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are good, you? Good, good. I'm, I'm good. I'm very happy to talk to you today. Um, uh -huh. I have to say, I really enjoyed Shang-Chi. I mean, it was so vi visually beautiful and the storytelling was so heartfelt. I mean, this was a really good accomplishment and congratulations on making like the best action movie in the MCU to date. So oh, I wanted you. to give you the props on that. <laughs> thank you. Um, now, look, I, I believe you had said in a recent uh, interview that you were really drawn to Shang-Chi's story and that's what brought you on to Mar uh, onto this project. Do you see yourself directing future Shang-Chi films and is there a specific story that you'd like to tell? I mean, over the process of, of directing this movie, I fell in love with these characters so much that it, it would be cool to continue to go on the journey with them and, and see, see how, they, uh, how they work their way into other parts of the MCU. Oh, for sure. I, I would love to see that, by the way. Um, now, look, in this day and age with movies being on streaming or in theaters, do you feel like the 45 day release window is enough for Shang-Chi to reach its full potential or would you prefer a different amount of time? I, I'm not ever going to act like I know how to distribute a movie currently in this climate. It's um, I, I do know that I personally have had my greatest movie experiences sitting in theaters where my phone is off and I'm in in looking at the best version of a of a picture and listening to the best version of the sound in the way that the filmmakers and the artists who created it intended to to watch it um that experience has always been something really magical to me and uh, i i feel really happy that even in the current environment we are giving an audience 45 days to experience that um, and I, I hope, I hope people are able to take advantage of that in a safe way. Um, now, of course, representation is a huge goal for Marvel and this movie strives at accomplishing that through sincere authenticity. Um, do you have a sense or how do you believe the people of Asia will receive Shang-Chi? I mean, I don't, again, I, it's, it's kind of impossible for me to project how anybody will receive anything that I make. Um, all I can do is, is uh, do my best to, to respect the, the process, to respect the characters, to respect the characters' background and try to portray them in the most authentic way possible. Um, and that's what we did on this movie. Now, Marvel fans love to obsess over Easter eggs or scenes that are meaningful in the, for the future of the MCU. Did you go into this film intentionally inserting those type of things into the movie? Or are there any scenes that we should really pay attention to more than others? I mean, that's one of my, one of my favorite things about, about making a Marvel movie and watching Marvel movies is how much interaction there is between the fans and, and the films. I don't think there's any other films that, that you have that amount of detailed um, interaction. And I mean, even the haters, even people who hate certain things about a movie, they'll still go and watch it three times to figure out exactly what they hate about it. And that's part of the fun too, you know? And so, so to be able to, to make a movie that has that much engagement is so cool. Um, and yes, e East, Easter eggs. I, I mean, I, I, I love, I just love that we call them Easter eggs because I have, <laughs> I have a, a three-year-old son and watching him, the excitement he gets every time he finds one is just so, it, it it's so childlike and it, I, I love that we are tapping back into that feeling every time we find one. And yes, there's many throughout this movie. Um, 
and I, I'm excited to see people go on the hunt and, and find some of them. Um, you know, there, there's, there's Easter eggs. What's fun is like there's Easter eggs in our, our movie that are connected to the MCU. There's Easter eggs from, from other, you know, some of our favorite martial arts and Kung Fu movies of the past. Um, and I think all of those are kind of fun things to find. Um, I got one last question and I'll make it a quick one. What MCU character would you like to see Shang-Chi take on in a one-on-one fight? <laughs> um, well, by the end of this movie, it'd probably have to be somebody pretty powerful. Um, I think, I think it'd be fun to see Shang-Chi and Spider-Man do a, do a little spar and see, see what comes out of that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. I really appreciate it. Like I said, great movie, great flick. I'm wishing you all the best success. Thank you so much. Are you new to my channel? Be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe, ring that bell for notifications and tell a friend. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.